How's it going, boys? Today we're playing Mugmind. Oh yeah, what a great name, I know. So, four revitalize, two negates, two search for the scans, three shimmers of possibilities, two guys blessing, four gift of paradisio, three absorbs, three settled wreckage, two chemist insights, three cleansing nodes, two mirari conjectures, two in balls clutches, one in primal tide, four mass manipulations, and many four lands. With one arc of a score and two detection towers, because essentially, why not at this point, right? So, it's a mind control deck, you know? It's, oh, it's pretty self explanatory. It's a mind control deck. With in balls clutches, because, well, maybe we want to steal something that the enemy owns, and maybe it's an artifact or something. Seems like a relatively good idea. So, we're gonna see how it goes. And, if we're lucky, it goes pretty well. Well, if we're unlucky, this is our starting hand and the opponent goes first. Now we don't have a single blue card to our name. Why not, game? Why not? I'm gonna keep that. We do have uh, this thing, so I essentially feel a little bit safe and cozy and sound deep down in my heart. Kinda hard to break with lands, because honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the most perfectly balanced uh, land deck in the history of perfectly balanced land decks in the history of ever. Oh yeah, that's definitely a tall order to fill, but I, I do think it's possible. Ah, uh, Mirari Conjecture. Some of you are probably already yelling for, at me for picking Mirari Conjecture. I honestly cannot blame you. Well, I can, but I'm not. Okay, so let's see. He didn't play anything, so there is a good chance that we can play negate. Do we have mana for negate? Well, absorb. I'm gonna call it negate because reasons. Oh yeah! Legion war boss. Get fucked. Good stuff. Okay, soon we're gonna have enough for mass manipulation, and mass manipulation is an amazing card because it can manipulate masses and whatnot. So, right off the bat, revitalize into a negate. Perfect. That's actually what we kinda almost wanted. Almost! Not exactly, but almost. Okay. So, he plays that, we negate it, and we feel good about ourselves for the time being. After that, we can get one more uh, negate out, uh, absorb out, and maybe something good happens. Oh, Jesus Christ, yes. Multiple Mirari conjectures, what a time to be alive. So, we're gonna take the absorb, because why not? And then we're gonna play Revitalize and Absorb. Oh, please do not play anything that I will regret. Please do not play anything that I will regret. Or let me draw a land so I can mass manipulate anything I will re regret. It's such a well-balanced deck. What the fuck is that? Okay. Okay. I'm not exactly sure uh, what you're gonna do with that, but okay. I see how it goes. Ah, I could honestly just completely ignore everything now. Hmm. Wait, oh yeah, hmm. We have settled the wreckage, so essentially I'm kinda okay, but we haven't drawn a land, so I'm gonna do this. Wait, do we even have- No, we don't! We don't have mana for the absorb. Well, that's okay, completely fine. Essentially, uh, no worries, no problems. Settled the wreckage is, a, is at hand, boys. Okay, yeah, right. Uh, cleansing Nova. Okay, yeah, right. No cleansing, no, indeed. So, what's the plan now? Let's say, good game. You know, let's pretend, shall we? Let's pretend everything's fi fine while we're inside, we're, we're crying. A lot. But, you know, let's pretend, shall we? Okay, so, why would you do Electromancy for three? I honestly don't know. Ah, because a Legion War Boss. Actually, is it worth for me to counter it? Now this actually works out perfectly. I'll, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna ma uh, mind control the uh, the war boss, and it's gonna be my war boss, and then that's gonna be amazing. Please tell me you're attacking with everything. You're not attacking with everything, are you now? Interesting, interesting, cheeky, cheeky. I don't like it, but you know what? That just that's just gonna be. Punished by Cleansing Nova. We have three Cleansing Novas for exactly those reasons. Punishment. And a lot of punishment, hopefully. 
So, we have absolutely nothing to negate anything, but we have two mass manipulations, which means, again, if he drops anything... <gasps> we are so taking that. We are so, so, so taking that. You know, today, a little bit while ago... Wait, why can't I use it? Can I use it? Why can't I use it? One, two, three. Shit. Okay, okay game. Well, it's actually still fine. So we're gonna take the revitalize, I guess, because it's, it's, it's instantaneously playable. Not the smartest choice, maybe, but it's fine. Okay, somewhere along the lines, I have absolutely paid zero attention to the fact that mass manipulation costs four uh, blue mon, and we still have not achieved four blue mon. Yes, I know it seems absurd and abhorrent somehow, but it's just reality. Okay, my turn. Uh, this turn did not amount to much, honestly. Okay, so the, the turn's like this. We do this, and we have Absorb. Good. So essentially, we're still controlling our enemy. Good. Good. Uh, let's see. Now we do nothing because next turn we can uh, do double chemists inside and that's going to be amazing. At this rate, our dig is actually not really working to its full potential. Well, it's actually working out splendidly for the first... <laughs> cute. Absolutely cute. You know what? Negated. Just, well, absorbed. Just because I can. There's no real reason to do anything else. Okay, so... Uh, currently, nothing is really happening, so we might as well do this. This. And what's actually left here? Not a lot. Shimmer of Possibility, probably. Uh, double it up. Shimmer of Possibility. Cleansing, no. I'm gonna leave that as an instant. One more of these. And do I want a third card? A negate? Yeah, I'm gonna take a negate. Why not? We're drawing two cards. I got the negate out. That's fine. And got one more of those bad boys. Hmm. Well, what am I supposed to do now exactly? Oh no. I honestly don't know at this point. Could I play that a little bit better? Probably. Should have I played that a little bit better? Also, probably. Okay. You can't really you can't really bitch on me because I am a well well known idiot. Yeah. Why not? Negate. It, it's definitely a card. Okay, if I was, yeah, I was gonna say, if I was him, I would be so frustrated, I would just concede. And he did it. That's, that actually deserves applause. Because at this rate, we, we, we it, it would have t uh, taken a little bit of a while. Oh, God. Okay, one game down, and we're feeling pretty good. Let's just get a little bit of alcohol in our system now, shall we? Oh, that's, doesn't burn. Well, it does burn a little bit, but it's fine. It, it's one of those good burns. Okay, so we have search for a skanda. And we have search for a skanda. I'm, I'm essentially completely okay with anything this hand has because search for a skanda. Oh, a land of... Oh, a flower opening. That's admicable, if that's even a real word. Okay. So, a planes. Hmm. You know, I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm okay with this. Search for a scant means that we can essentially almost deal with anything. Two in bolus clutches, on the other hand, makes my penis shrivel a little bit. But I, I would not be too worried because my penis is pretty large, and even if it shrivels, it honestly should not, not impact my life too much. Okay. But enough about the good stuff. It seems like this guy is getting a relatively aggressive start because he can just adapt this. Get one out for free because this card is completely insanely overpowered. And I can't do too much because cl in Bolas Clutches... No, I should honestly remove in Bolas Clutches, but... I don't know. It's like, I don't want to remove in Bolas Clutches because then, then the deck is just, you know, a single... A singular instance... Of one thing, and you know, that does not make me feel good inside. Okay, uh, that's definitely the graveyard, thank you. Okay, a land, that's actually exactly what we did want. 
Uh, more revitalize. It's gonna stem the bleeding, so it's not essentially bad. And we're gonna have a, a absorb for the next turn, which we again will try to call to call absorb, not negate. But we're probably gonna call it negate a lot. Okay. Uh, as bad as things could get, this is pretty much as bad as things could get. He's doing a lot of damage to me. And library. Okay, let's see. So, I'm gonna do it like this because, yes, we still can absor uh, absorb, so it's fine. Okay, two more lands and I can essentially just steal something away from that, that chump. Okay, let's see. Oh, I actually need to ab abolish this. Absorb. Actually, abolish sounds a lot better than absorb. Yes. Furthermore, further on, you will be known as absorb because it makes more sense somehow. It looks like you're absorbing things, so you know. May may. Well, okay. Yep. 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 Okay. That 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 else. That that that's also a thing. Shit. Oh god. If we just get a cleansing now and wipe this guy, I will be so happy. I'm not gonna lie. Well, we definitely have everything in line for a Cleansing Nova. We have a Cleansing Nova, boys. Oh yeah, and a land. An extra land so we can play in Bolas Clutches, which means we can steal the Conclave Tribunal. <gasps> oh god, that's gonna be one juicy Nova. I'm not even gonna lie, that's, that's such a juicy, that's such a juicy little girl. I did not say anything just now. Ignore everything. This channel is complete satire. You you should know that. Okay. So, I have never done this interaction, but I assume I can just Conclave Tribunal every, anything he throws out. Hmm. Let's see. This is not an instance, so honestly, it's just Chemist's Insight. There's nothing else to do at this turn. But it seems we have won, boys. It seems we have definitely won. I'm gonna play this land just for added intimidation purposes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's probably thinking, man, those Carnage Titans I wanted to play so badly, man, they're just not... Well, it's gonna be the Adapt version, so honestly... Wait, I should probably... No, I can't. Shit. Okay, uh, plan B. So, let's just do this on that and see what happens. Oh yeah, I bet he never expected to see in Bolas clutches. Because it's a card rarely people play. But it does have its bow. Okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Game! Are you serious? Oh my god. That is absolutely ass. <laughs> that is legitimately ass. Well, <laughs> I don't know exactly what to say, but. I'm not gonna say anything nice about this situation, that's for sure. Okay, so next turn, I'm bolus clutching probably this. <laughs> yeah, well, it's adapting. Everyone knew it's gonna adapt. I wanted to be cheeky, and now I'm just gonna pay a lot of life points. Ah, uh, cheekiness always gets punished. <sighs> cheekiness definitely always gets punished. So, I could just do this. Let's see, can I... Yes, I still have the mana, so I might as well do it. I honestly have two mass manipulations, so... Uh, relatively nonchalant things like that don't really hurt me, and I can flip the Ascanda. And he probably wants to kill me real bad right about now. So, it should be good. And also, I can take over two creatures with my uh, mind... Jedi mind tricks, so that's gonna be pretty good. Oh, yeah... Feels good. Well, he is getting four lands out of this deal, but honestly, who cares? Honestly, who cares? It's good enough. I like how it uh, says four, but uh, there's actually only one. I like that it counts as exile thingies. That's pretty cool. Yep, he just took all the lands out of his deck. Okay, oh, finally. So this turn we can do this. Again, we have absolutely nothing to play currently, so we might as well. Uh, Gift of Paradiso on the general planes. Let's see, we can actually drop something more. Uh, do we want to jumpstart this and get rid of the last boss? I think we do. It's like, you can't play really anything that will threaten me legitimately. So, you know, 
Only illegitimate threats are currently a problem. Okay, Sun Petal Grove, pretty decent. Mirari Conjectures, still two mass mind manipulations. Can easily get an absorb and a mass manipulation back. Well, I have two in hand, so maybe getting the cleansing now will be a little bit better, but who knows at this point, right? Okay, is he gonna play anything? That's like the seriously legitimate $10,000. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, you just gave me an Ascanta for free, dude, so I'm not exactly unhappy. Oops. Yeah, oops. Uh, tell tell that oops to that, uh, that interaction right now, boy. So do I want to do this or do I want to keep the negate? Now, anything he drops can easily be taken advantage of, so I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, so we do have a lot of... Okay, so where's my Balas? Well, actually, it doesn't matter where even my Balas is. I'm just going to take the cleanse. I should probably cleansing now with this stuff, shouldn't I? Okay, let's see. I'm uh, going to do it like this. Get rid of that. There's no exact reason to actually own, uh, own extra copies of it. And let's see what he does. More Mirari Conjectures. Not exactly needed. Okay, soon... Oh, wait, I could have attacked with him. That's why I'm... Even when a deck that's supposed to attack stuff, I'm never gonna win, because that's just not the way I roll. So, he thinks he needs to bypass one Absorb. Now, little does he know we have more of those in our deck. Okay. So let's see, what do we get back now? Uh, nothing, but we can essentially just do this, and that's something. So I want back these things. No, yes, I'm just going to take back everything. Everything I see fit. Okay, wanted Balaz clutches, because why not? I'm going to take his divination away from him. You know, it's going to be fine. So this... Uh, mine is, nah, Gift of Paradise is not, well, actually, I'm gonna take the Gift of Paradise also. Okay, Bloss? No, Unabsorb. Okay, good enough. Okay, and the Grove. Do I just drop this? How many mana do I have? I do have six, so it's possibly... Well, I don't actually care what he summons, do I? But do I need to cast it just yet? No, I actually don't even need to cast it, I think. Okay, let's just attack. Let's let's not fail this time, shall we? Oh, Elf Knight. What a great card. Oh, by the way, the third win condition for this deck is obviously mill. Okay, let's get a little bit more of that alcohol in our system. I wonder, can you hear the sound? Let me put the cork back. Can you hear that? Oh, no. Ah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. So let's continue on. I also have nothing to drink on it, so... I guess that's fine. Okay, enemy. What a champion. Right into the negate. He didn't even kick it. That means he has something more. Yeah. <laughs> he just gives up. He probably understands we got so many things back with the Mirari Conjecture. It's absolutely impossible for him to do anything. And yes, you're probably thinking, but you can just exchange one of those mass manipulations for a single Tefari and you would be absolutely fine. You are right. But since a Tefari would be breaking... Uh, the unspoken contract, we would not do that. We would do something a lot more elaborate. A Furi. We would add a Furi to our deck. Or, you know, uh, Dovin, Grand Arbiter. Because getting his uh, ulti out for this deck is honestly pretty, pretty powerful. Or a Karn. Or a Karn. Karn is also fine. But, you know, we're not doing any of those. But, yeah, if you want to uh, remove one mass manipulation and put in... A Johnny, maybe a Jace Cunning Castaway, uh, maybe a Tezzeret, because why the hell not at this point. Or a Tefari, you know, you can honestly just, you know, do it and it's fine. I personally will stick to the pure mind control shenanigans gig, so that's a thing. But you can easily do it if you really, 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 really like to. So yeah. 
Oh, 10 seconds? Oh, 8 seconds to find the game. Okay, so the game wants me to lose, I see. I have actually, I have reliably won red decks with this stuff. Okay, I'm not winning a single anything with this hand ever. Okay, a little bit better. Still not exactly sublime, but a little bit better. We do have a little bit of draw, so there's a chance that we stabilize. Okay, there's a chance that also we are gonna suck dick and we're gonna pretend it's an amazing feeling. But we're gonna see. Oh yeah, the game wants me dead. It, it just saw us having too much uh, too much good times with our deck. Yeah, it definitely wants us dead. Ah, magic in all its fairness, boys. Wanna bet he has 50 counter spells in his goddamn little peasant hand? I, I can bet my ass he does. Okay, let's just get back this. He's gonna probably counterspell this if he has. Just because he has no reason not to. He probably has six counterspells in his hand, so... No, he, he was thinking about it, but he didn't. Okay, good. Kinda good. Not exactly actually good, but... You know, at least it's something. So, my best chance is that he did not drop a land here, and that he drops a gin next turn. And then I can just remove all his things. That was pretty much honestly my only ho- Okay, that's two harpies now. The only good part here is the simple fact that uh, those harpies don't exactly do too much. Okay, does he counterspell this now? Indeed he does, what a champion. Okay, yeah, the dead game has definitely put its mark on us and it does not want us to win, like, a lot. Great stuff, lads, great stuff. A spell pierce, a blue deck spell piercer deck. This is probably one of those 200 quadrillion IQ players who, you know, is gonna try to uh, counterplay the cleansing nova by using dive down. Or, you know, just a uh, spell pierce. Many moment now. <gasps> oh my god, it went through. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Not gonna lie, that's relatively impressive. So, now I just need to deal with that. Well, we do have a negate. Well, absorb. Excuse me. Ab ab absorb. Well, negates and absorbs are the, the same thing. Oh, wait. Oh, it's actually called absorb! What did I think it's called? Okay, it doesn't relatively matter what I think it's called. Oh, he did not have any counterplays for that. That's very interesting. Okay, all I need to do is kill this Tempest Jin, and honestly, we're kind of set. But the question is, can I kill the Tempest Jin? That's like the huge, huge elephant problem in the room. Okay, let's let's try this again now, shall we? Got it. Good. That means we can play an Absorb next turn. Okay, well, not next turn, this turn. How many lands do we have? Six. So we can't even use the Primal Tide, Senpai. Damn it. <clears throat> okay, uh, completely negated. Well, ab absorbed. Okay, good. That means we're still alive. So now drawing one land is not exactly bad bad, but it's it's still kind of extremely bad because we're probably a lot dead. Yikes. Okay, uh, reasonable. Not really, but at least it's a draw card on the other hand. Uh, mass manipulation, ahoy! Yes, yes, sir, that's definitely what we want. Uh, we want one absorb the gift of Paradisio in this. Everything, actually, everything. And we do have two islands, so there is that off chance that we can actually, like, get this djinn in our servitude, and he's gonna be our little bitch. Okay, we can definitely get this little girlie in our servitude and, servitude and make her be our little bitch. So, there is an extremely high chance and probability that he does not have anything to counterplay this. I am willing to bet everything on it. Motherfucker. Okay, that was... That, that was... That was absolutely fine. Well played, game. You wanted me dead. You did everything you could to make me dead. Oh, I got to love the fairness of magic. I just gotta love the fairness of magic. <sighs> Completely not rigged. You know, because 
Well, honestly, all you see nowadays is blue, uh, blue tempo decks. I don't see even red decks that often now. All now it's now nowadays it's all about that blue tempo bullshit. Uh, three shock lands, great stuff. A settled wreckage, a Mirari conjecture. Honestly, not bad. Because we do have a e relatively easy way to ramp up to this, but the opponent goes first, and the opponent is an aggro deck. Well, that's not exactly an aggro deck, but who's counting at this point? Okay. So, oh, I know what this deck is. It's absolute balls. Yeah, nice. So, you just thought to reassure me now? You don't thought to reassure me now. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> Well, let's see what you do now. Oh, you paid the mana, you paid the life toll for it for some reason. And you don't have counter spells. I am totally flabbergasted at this point in life. Honestly, don't, don't exactly know what to expect. You know? Oh, you definitely have a Mortify. Okay, are you gonna use said Mortify? No, you're not using said Mortify. Okay. You're gonna save the Mortify for my Mirari Conjecture. Well, this is a fine hand indeed. This is not exactly the help. Oh, nope, he just Mortified my thingy. Well, that means I can uh, I cannot mass manipulation the set of the scales that could potentially happen, but it's not happening. Good. Okay, so gonna do it like this, I guess. Probably not the best land to put it on, but who's counting at this point? Okay. Uh, we don't have four mana, so if he just decides to mortify this again, we're not exactly thrilled about it. You know what? You can mortify anything you want, bro, Chacho. I'm completely okay with this. I don't know what kind of deck he has, but honestly, considering I have counter spells and mass manipulations, anything he relatively plays is gonna get completely screwed over by us. Unless that's a Tefari deck. Obviously. Well... I'm going to steal at the Fari. Okay, it, is, it would actually be like the exact right time for me to get a counter spell. Okay, it seems like considering we have absolutely no plays whatsoever, we might as well do this for the revitalize. Considering we have absolutely nothing better to do with our time. Because waiting for him to drop a creature, considering I have a serious... Uh, uh, serious uh, you know, a serious hunch, a premonition, if you might say, that he's going to drop a Tafari. You know, we might as well just dig deep for our counter spell Because we want to take over his Tafari, and then we want to counter spell the counter spell that he's going to counter spell us with for taking the Tafari. And now, Search for a Skanda is not going to be killed by Mortify. Obviously, he really, really wants to kill, the uh, kill that thing. Please kill it. Yes, there it is, Mortify, good. The chances that he has gotten a third Mortify by this point are relatively slim and non-existent. Also, there may be that slight inkling of a possibility that this guy does not have counter spells. There is, a, uh, there is that chance, definitely. I and mean, now we have an Absorb. So essentially, the single moment that he drops his Tefari, or whatever the hell is his win condition, because honestly, I don't know at this point, we have a good chance of winning. Also, if he has the Eternal Absolution, we can just, in Bolas clutches it. Also, if he does have a Tefari, we can Bolas clutches the Tefari on 9, well, 8, and just take it for ourselves, which is fantastic. Graveyard, we don't need you. Uh, I'm not gonna play it just yet. There's no, there's no need. Even though we could hit a land drop, there's no need currently. Okay, this is slow. Let's let's just spice it up. Ah, good stuff. Okay, chemist's insight. <clears throat> Man, look at this. We're actually almost taking this game seriously. I'm amazed. Well, if you play Billy Nilly like I always do at uh, this game, you can't really play a deck like this. So, booyah. Okay. I'm I'm really wondering what the hell is this guy's deck. Because it, it looks like a Tefari deck. It feels like a Tefari deck. Yet I don't see any goddamn Tefaris. 
He has the mana and he has the mana for one counter spell. Yet he's not doing the counter spell thing. I think he's worried that I have more counter spells than him. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, library. Why not? Okay, so is anyone surprised? How the fuck does this game man manage to match you with mirror matches? I honestly don't know. I honestly just don't. So he is definitely playing Eternal Absolution. That is a hundred percent. But does he have cards that refill his uh, his uh, his draw list? <clears throat> okay, he's doing something. Maybe he's doing a primal. I actually need to try and counterspell this, because if I get to flip a scant, I'm just gonna get the uh, absorb again. So you know, if he doesn't counterspell this, it's essentially. Well, yeah, that's that's one of the things I kind of expected. He gets mass manipulation back and everything. What a champion! Okay. So, that means that we need to be a little bit careful around what we do. I'm not exactly sure. Well, so he has only devious cover-up for card uh, re-something. Okay. This is definitely a very interesting game. And we finally got the scorpion as soon as it spawned. Nice. Okay. Interesting. I also have draw cards. This is actually a good draw card. I was kind of considering it, but then I then I finally decided that no, I'm gonna be a hipster, and we're also drawing far too many lands. Boom. Okay. So the thing is, now that we know that he has devious cover up, he most likely has two or three devious cover ups in his deck, which means we need to have at the bare minimum three more. What the fuck? Okay, so he has at least two more devious cover-ups in his deck, which means we need a bare minimum of three counter spells for that crap to work. And I'm assuming that is the Defari. Finally? No, still nothing. Okay, so we have one negate. That's essentially our win condition right there. Yeah, I'm wondering what's going to happen now, because he has mass manipulation, and it seems like the game just wanted to screw with us completely, and just put us in an almost mirror match type of thing. But my deck is a little bit more unique, because we're not using the bla- ooh. Yes, we can still ball as clutches it, essentially. And I'm not sure. It's like... What exactly is this guy gonna do? If we just, you know, oh yeah, that's good. What is what exactly is this guy gonna do if we honestly just don't play cards? It's impossible to sustain yourself a devious cover up because even if you, yeah, he counterspelled this. Well, actually, we have Gaia's Blessing, so we don't give two fucking shits. But we need to get rid of at least one Devious cover-up. I think he's he hasn't drawn the second Devious cover-up, so it's fine, yes. this there, There's the Devious cover-up, and that should be only one Devious cover-up left. Again, it does... Okay, fuck you. Oh shit, I said we needed the bare minimum of three counter spells. We can still do it relatively easy. Uh, now we just need to deal with most likely one devious cover up. So the good part is, I definitely think we can just hit this button continuously. Well, not really continuously, that's impossible. But we can pretty much hit this button a very lot. Yeah, that was actually good cards. Wait, do I just... I I think I clean... Yeah, I cleansing no with this. No, wait, I can't. I need at least one. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Okay, what exactly is his play? The chances of me just uh, perpetually, uh, perpetually drawing my things are very limited in scope. And if he's mill, I just win because I have two guys' blessings in my deck. Right? Yeah, I probably just win, honestly. <clears throat> Let's see what we get. 
We need to be careful with not drawing our own guy's blessings, so that's a thing. But I think we can essentially just uh, turn over every single time we can. But there is that slight hint of possibility that he definitely has something that I don't like. Okay, an island, that's fine. Okay, I'm not gonna try to do the, uh, the uh, uh, cleansing Nova. Because, again, he has most likely one more devious cover-up. Ah, oh, that's actually good. Let's see. He draws extra cards. Do I do this? Yes, I do it. Uh, let's just, you know, get rid of the mass manipulation, because why not? I think we win by default now. I honestly think we win by default. Because, again, it's impossible for him to devious cover-up it. Uh, the bad part is... Yes, the bad part is Guy's Blessings. The bad part is we can honestly just draw guys blessings, and that's a little bit annoying. Not scrumptious, not scrumptious at all. So, if he gets to counterspell one of my guys blessings, we're in a little bit of a, the Japanese say, pinchy. We have absolutely zero, we have only two counters, what the fuck? Okay, we're fucked. Okay. Please do not counterspell this absorb. Oh, he has more. Okay. Oh yeah, now he saw the guy's blessing. Okay, we, we lose. Okay, what a champion. Why the hell would you exactly have a mass mass manipulation in a deck like that? I honestly don't know. So yeah. Uh, the game just sometimes want you to, wants you to lose, so it completely just throws you into an amazing, exuberating counterspell game. But yeah, uh, it is, by the way, possible to get unlucky with two guys' blessings and get milled, but it's almost completely impossible to get unlucky with three guys' blessings and get milled. That's just how life works. But yeah, that was definitely something. So yeah. Uh, one of our absorbs was in the graveyard. No, yeah, we had no chance of winning that. We have uh, far too little counter spells for a deck like that. You essentially, with a deck like this, you essentially cannot ever win a counter spell deck. Sadly, well, it was possible if I got in Balas clutches and got uh, his. Uh, patient rebuild, but you know that sadly did not happen. Also, I could have won if I had Nizhal Primal Tide, but that also did sadly not happen. A lot of things sadly did not happen that game, which were extremely likely candidates of happening, to be honest. But yeah, if we just got the flip the Escanta, we would have uh, won 100% easy game. Well, sadly, again. Sometimes things don't happen like you want them to happen, but that's absolutely fine. So, this is Kuzer Sitsin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.